Mwese duhagaze ku maguru yacu ndajyango buri muntu ahumirize ku maso ye Muri byo arabanga amahoro ya satanga hari byo twirengagiza kwera amahoro ya Kristo hari byakabaye byaratumye turatu dasinziriye ariko amahoro ya satanga aduha kurenga inambara aduha kurenga ibyo byose ndagira ngo uhumirize ku maso ya utekereze amahoro Kristo yatanze utekereze amahoro gushima imana
Hallelujah.
Let us have every day. Let me ask you to sit down. Let me for them as they go to sit. May God bless them so much. Let me welcome everybody in the house of the Lord. Let us clap the hands for ourselves because we are in the presence of God. Uh, those who are following us online, I welcome you also. Those are on Facebook. YouTube. Those on YouTube. Everywhere from everywhere. May God bless you so much wherever you are. Wherever you are seated, be feel good. You are following the word of God. May God bless you so much. We are welcoming our pastors in the house. Let us come for them. Give them a warm welcome. May God bless them. Let me request the guests who have come here to visit us. Maybe it's your first time to be here. You can rise up on your feet and we'll come here. Maybe you are there, you have visitors. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, may God bless you so much. You are most welcome visitors in the house. Uh, may God bless you. We will come in the house of the Lord. You may be seated. May God do good to you. We are going to give you the house of the Lord. Uh, we are going to give tithe. Uh, of Rings. Even thanksgiving, what God has done for you. Or oh, whatever you have, you have to put it in one offering. And you come and thank your Lord. If there is anything which can please God, is to give back what He gave you. All oh, the burden is you have, you put in that envelope of your words, and then put it to God. Now, God like it, uh, bring all your burdens unto me. Those who are following us online, we also welcome you. Our when you are offering. We are going to welcome the drama team. Uh, be fast and faster. Uh, be faster, be like soldiers in the house. We welcome you. Oh my God. Drama team, we love you so much. You are the generation. You are the chosen generation. You are most welcome. We honor you and we love you, okay? May God bless you as you take us forward. Amen.
ariko na go drama ti muyonjira mashi muyonjira mashi menshi mashi menshi Yes, na chini shiza mozimango kuna zinzima na. Nothing as good as to rejoice and praise the Lord. That you thank Him for the mighty works that He has done into your life. So let us lift our hands and we pray to the Lord for the wonderful day that He has given us. Raise your hands before the Lord. And thank Him for the wonderful day that He has given you. Lord, we thank You for today. We thank You, Lord. No one is like you. You are worthy and trustworthy God. You are mighty trustworthy. No one is like you. We raise your hands before you. Thank your God for today. For us to live it is because of your goodness. We give you glory, Lord. We thank you for today. We welcome your praises. We give you honor, God. You've been there for us. You've protected us. We want to say thank you for loving us. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. We thank you as a family. We thank you as a church. We thank you for everybody in your house. We thank you for those online. Bless them, King of Glory. Make a difference in our lives. Touch us, Lord. Heal the sick. Don't let us go back on the same. Change us, Lord. Let us go by your power touching us. In the name of Jesus. Of this. Who has to remember the good works that the Lord has done for him or her? Sir, so, our Lord. I have remembered your good works. I will never ignore your good works. The good works that you have revealed to me. The way that you have been there for me. The way that you have healed me. I will serve you. Love to the Lord and his presence. Organize what he has done for us. When we serve God. We don't serve God because we did not ever Everything about it. But we understand some things when we are in the service. Every time that you serve God, you understand that serving God is the foundation of our joy. Serving God, write these things. How can I? So you can serve God through use of the gifts that has given you. I can serve God through using the gifts that has given me. First Corinthians chapter 12. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh yes, said that I'm a spiritual person. I'm a blessed person. Yes, uh, First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4. Now, First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 says, Now there, there are 
diversities of gifts by the same spirit. And there are differences of administration and the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations but the same God which works all in all. But the manifestation of the spirit of to every man to profit all. For to one is given the spirit of word of wisdom, another on the word of knowledge by the same spirit. To another by the same spirit, another gift of healing by the same spirit. To another the working of miracles, to another prophesy. To discerning spirits and another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all of these works to all that, the same spirit dividing to every man as, as, as severely as he will. Icyakora hari ho impano z'uburyo bwinshi. Ari ku mwuka numwe. Kandi hari uburyo bwinshi bwo kugabura iby'Imana. Ari ku mwami numwe. Hari ho n'uburyo bwinshi bwo gukora. Ari ko Imana ikorera byose muri bose nimwe. Umuntu wese agahabwa ikimwerekana ho mwuka kugira ngo bose bafashwe. Umwe aheshwa ni jambo ry'ubwenge n'umwuka. Undi agaheshwa n'uwo mwuka ijambo ryo kumenya. Undi agaheshwa n'uwo mwuka kwizera. Undi agaheshwa n'uwo mwuka impano yo gukiza indwara. Undi agaheshwa gukora ibitangaza. Undi agahabwa guhanura. Undi agahabwa kuvuga indimi nyinshi. Undi agahabwa gusobanura indimi. Ariko ibyo byose umwuka umwe niwe ubikorera muri bo agabira umuntu wese uko ashaka Andikira jambo Write this word Gukorera imana ukoresha impano z'umwuka Serving God through use of spiritual gifts No kuvuga ngo ushobora gukorera imana ukoresha impano z'iki Meaning that you can serve God through use of the spiritual gifts. Here we have seen teaching. We have seen prophesying. We have seen discernment. We have seen healing of the sick. So there are different gifts that the Spirit has given to people. Also you can use all those through serving God. So you can use those gifts as you serve God. Spiritual gifts. Number two. Uh, so you can you also serve God through natural talents or gifts. So there are some gifts that you have that you were born with. So you may say that for me I don't know how to prophesy. Me I don't know how to teach. I don't know how to preach. But you have natural gifts or natural talents that you were born with that you can use and serve God. An example. Even there are gifts that even non-born again people, they have them. An example, a gift of singing. So do you mean that everyone who sings are born again? Meaning that you can use that gift of singing as you serve God. There are people who you find that they are good cookers. They know how to relate with people in harmony and peace. There are people who are good at hospitality. So that gift that you were born with, you can use it as you serve God. So why do you do everything that you are saying? Just to recognize, to reward him what he has done to us. Those who remember what the Lord has done for them, say them. Raise your hands before God. Say the Lord Jesus. Oh, I say thank you. I say that stress me with your strength. That among the things that you have done for me, that I may have what I can do for you that I have may receive the blessing of those who serve you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, there are some skills, there are some wisdom, there are some skills, there are some wisdom, there are some knowledge that you acquired from school. There is knowledge that you acquired from school. There is knowledge that you gained from someone who mentored you to do something. When you were living in the house of your aunt, there are some skills that you acquired from her that you can use to serve God. I'll give you another example. Maybe if you are a computer wizard or you are computer skilled, you know some IT skills. 
Continue you serve as you serve God. Urugero. An example, you can join the IT team here. So you can help us to evangelize to the world as use TikTok, Instagram, and all the social medias. We can use Telegram, TikTok, TikTok Facebook, 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 YouTube. YouTube. All our knowledge that you might have acquired from school that we need you. So that is knowledge, that is wisdom that we can apply and people come to understand God. You may say that um, for you, me, that one I don't know. Maybe you are a good carpenter. You know how to design some tables. Yeah. So that you help us to have some designed tables here. And you say that we fellowship together. I'll make one chair for that person. So that whenever people visit that person that we fellowship, we understand that this is a servant of God and we will feel the presence of God. Uh, you may say that no I don't have everything like that, that one but I know I have some skills of just making some woods designing and whatever I'm going oh. to get some children that they not have access to education so that I train oh, them yes. to do some courses about carpentry so that they can increase on their welfare. Raise your hands and say the Lord Jesus, open my spiritual eyes that I may see what I can profit to others. That I see what I can do in your house. That I may see my part, my role in beautifying your house in the name of Jesus. As you use others, may you use me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, clap to the Lord and His yes. presence now. May say that for me, singing is not my gift. So even being a musician, that one I don't know. But for me, what I know very well is to work for money. Uh, someone told me that even if you give me sand, then I can get money from there. There are people who are good at making cash. Whenever you press that person, when you have such a knowledge, such a skills, so, and we connect you to some yes. jobless people that are here, you can help them just to become entrepreneurs. Uh, speak to your neighbor that we need gifts that are in you. Again, ask that person, are you accepting to help us in your gifts? Who is committed to serving God yes. using the gifts that he has or her? maybe you may understand that you are very beautiful or handsome even smiling is not your issue so now imagine someone is beautiful even smiling is not an issue don't you think she or he can do something in the house of God even as now I speak even the person sitting next to you can't not even smile so now imagine taking such a person and just you place her or him in the protocol team. Maybe let us take an example of the hotels. Tourism tourism industry. You'll find people there. They will come you gladly. They give you a seat. Even you don't know each other but he calls you uncle. He calls you an aunt, your aunt when even it is the first time to see you. It is a gift. But the other people that you'll find every time is a business time. He tells you, he tells you, can you sit there or you get out? If you are not comfortable with the way I'm showing you, then go. Then there's someone who tells you, you are most welcome. 
Even when the chairs are full, but the way that person speaks to you, you can bear just seeing that person. Every person has got a gift. And if it's very useful, speak to your neighbor that you are a value person. Yes before the eyes of God. Maybe you have voices that tells you that you are useless. Even there are people who go ahead and tell you that you are useless. But let me tell you that a person of yes. value in the presence of God. Let me give you an example. If they get it, they just the cow office and then they use it for fertilizers. If they can get Woods and they transform them, they process them into papers. So the horns of a cow they transform into buttons. So now in the stones they get cement. Do you think that a person that was created in the image of God yes. you can be valued as like that? Speak to your neighbor that of great value. There is what you can do in the house of God. And God is awaiting for you. Come and serve him. Those who have stepped, clapped yourself and said, oh, serve God. There is what you can do in the house of God. I ask you now. So increase your passion in serving God. Jeremiah 105. Jeremiah 105. How does it say? I know you know the scripture, but, but God knows you. You are of value in the kingdom of God. The book of the prophet is Jeremiah. Chapter 1, verses 5. Here go. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comes out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Nakumenye nara kurema munda enyoko. Kandi nakweje jutara avuka. Ngushira hukubu mahanozi uhanuri la mahanga. Ki nakumenye nara kurema. I knew you before you were formed. Ngushira hukubu mahanozi. I placed you to become a prophet. Ichuza mara chaka. So what you will fulfill was revealed before you were formed. So your value was formed before you were born. So now God went ahead and accepted that your mom conceives you. In other words, we don't care when your mom gave birth to you, whether she'll survive or she died there. God was looking for you. Whether you were born of a yes. mad person, whether you were born by a poor or rich, you are still of value in the eyes of God. So what you were born for was revealed before you were formed. So don't be just overwhelmed by the words of people that told you that you be you. Not you of useful. That is why God is using us as his calling you. Respond to the calling of God that is calling you. Come and respond to the calling and become useful in the house of God. Speak to your neighbor and hear a voice that is calling you. That one of you are online following us. There is a voice that is calling you. There is what God wants you to be serving him. Education, that is what you can serve God with. In your capabilities, that is what you can serve God with. So you are of value in the eyes of God. Even when you reach in heaven, God will give you rewards of that purpose. So as you, in your family, they call you in your own name. Come and go to fetch water. Come and be sent to the boutique and they are calling you. And you respond to the voice of your parents so that you come and they send you. Today God is calling you in your name. Come and serve you my 
the child that I am looking for you. Come and fulfill the purpose that has created for you. Why did he not make you a hen or a chicken so that we take you on you consume you on Christmas? So why were you not created as a goat so that we take of you as a brochette? Why were you not created as a dog so that you keep the gates of people? He created you his own image so that you serve him and people when they see you they glorify his name. That is the value that God gave you. So thanking God for the value is to do something for him in his house. So those that are committed to serving God say hallelujah. Say that Lord Jesus I thank you that you have created me of value. You have created me in your own image that I may do the kingship work so that those who don't know you may come to know you. Use me, O oh God, Jesus. So that those who don't know you may come to know you in the name of Jesus. Love like to the Lord in his presence as you think. God is calling you. Come and serve me, my son. Come and serve me. So serving God is a noble job. Paul said, I thank God for he has counted me trustworthy. Though at first I was a killer, I did what was evil, but he has forgiven me. Those who have been forgiven by God, where are you? So the one who has forgiven you, then it is what you can do for him. So he did not forgive you so that you become a candidate for heaven only. So he forgave you so that you reveal his love that compelled him to give out his son to be crucified on your behalf. Say that I'm of value. Say that Lord I thank you that you have made me of value. I will serve you God. Clap to the Lord and his presence. So you can serve him through spiritual gifts. You can serve him through natural gifts. So you can serve him through acquired skills and knowledge. Number five, you can serve God through experience of the pain that you went through. All the painful situations that you go through, it is not of vain. Uh, so tell your neighbor that all the sorrows, all the pain, all the agony that you go through on this world, those are reasons that God is giving you so that you'll be teaching others. Maybe you might be here and hearing these words. And you have spent days just drinking on the cup of the sorrow. Oh, even now you are going through a valley of tears and crying where you say, oh God, why you have allowed these things to happen to me? So that is a package that God is giving you. So that one day when you turn back and see, you speak to those that are still behind. You say, young man, be careful so that you do not have pain like the way I had pain. Speak to your neighbor that all the sorrows that you go through is a package that you yes. give to others. There are times where people go through different pains. You reach a river where you saw God. Do you know me or not? Anyone that it happened to you on? Only to those who have come down from heaven now. There are those that are very innocent. But as long as, as you are still living on this earth of the living, you so go through a valley where others are dreaming you, you are awake. Even you take a cup of tea full of sugar, but even you find it is tasteless. You take food that is that has so lot, but you feel it is tasteless. 
Even you see people laughing and you imagine what they are laughing about. What is happy? What is speak to your neighbor it happens in life it is normal it is normal it happens so when you go through such a situation you stand and say God you know everything Job went such a situation and the friends laughed at him even David went such a valley and said God you know everything even Moses went in such a valley and every the congregation that he was reading turned against him then he said oh God why are you I can't see you don't you see Pharaoh and his armies behind him? So those that I am with, they are now have come to God, God, where are you? Oh, so the congregation were saying to Moses, Moses, what are you doing? Have you brought us in the wilderness to kill us from there? So Moses turned to God and said, God, what do you want me to do with these people? So that is a valley now. Tell your neighbor <laughs> the valleys for mature people <laughs> is always there. So when you go in a such a valley, even you look around to see someone that can encourage you, you can't find anyone. Even you look for someone who can send even a message that comforts you, you can't find him. In Isaiah, that even if you go through fire, I'll be with him. You go through waters, it can't go through the Lord who is there for us. Said the Lord Jesus, I still trust in you. Yes, amen. That valley is there, my dear. It is not because you have lost the track of the way, it is not God has forsaken you. So you can go through such a valley you cry all the night. Tell you your neighbor even Jesus went in that valley. He reached a level where he sweated and then the sweat was like a blood. So, will you go through that valley and at times you ask yourself, am I with people or am I alone? Job went such a valley. So just the friends mocked him. They said it is because of your wickedness. Job didn't know the reason. It, even the wife told him that like, Job, if I were God, Pray. even if it was to die, let you die. Job turned and he said, you have spoken like one of the words of the wicked. I said, I will die and poison him. Touch your neighbor. Just touch on the shoulders. Just squeeze him or just say that be strong, my dear. my friend. Be strong, my dear. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. Even me, I went through such a valley. And the Lord was with me. Even take her. He will be with you. He shall never forsake you. Be strong. The Lord, He cannot forsake you. Yes, I have been there. Say amen. So even when you see that you don't know the reason of going through the valleys, uh, mostly here we have the services for men. Um, so we have the services for men. Uh, there is a season where a man goes into a valley of just bringing together the man. It is a valley for men. Yeah, that is it. Uh, there is a time when a man goes through a valley of men. You don't need food. You don't need someone to give you a drink. 
You need someone to touch on your shoulders and tells you be strong. I have been there. Yes. yes. That is how men are you have someone who tells be strong there are some hours that men don't sleep it is not because you have gone astray you don't have demons but you are being molded to become a man then be strong be strong man you are being given a heart of love be strong. There is a valley that even man has to go through, but even women. Whether you have money, whether educated, whether you have a big family, there is a valley. There is a valley. Let us join our hands and clap for our men. When you don't know, you may say that maybe I have a curse. So that is why normally you find that a lot the big number, the big percentage in the prison are men. Even at the war, at the front men die most. When you go just around on the way, you find someone is being beaten. The one that you cannot even care about is a man. Uh, if you find just people beating a woman and a man, who can you rest to first? When you don't know that you are a man, you may just want to conduct yourself like other people. Uh, maybe in the our coverage back home, when you were just a, two, a, in the, a girl and a boy, when you commit mistakes, whom they could beat we are at the point where we say that your solos is a package to give to those that are still behind you. That is where a man has responsibility now. Let me remind you this word. For so God loved the world so much. He loved the world so much. So he gave his is God a father or a mother? Data. He's a father. Meaning that a father should have a love compel him to send a son. So many, many Muslim men hear this. Vugangumagabarangwanugukunda. <laughs> There is a man seated in here. You please touch that man or young man and say that receive a heart of love. Receive a heart of love. Men, are you he hearing this? Whether they handle you with care, with love or not, you must have love. That is why the Bible says that whosoever is a man, he needs another man that he has to back him with. So when your job stops, whom can you lie on? When things turn around you, where can you go to? Jesus went into the field to pray. He was Peter, James, and John. There were 12 disciples. Judah escaped. Only 11 remained. And Jesus 
took them to pray. So among the eleven, he selected the three only. He went with them just in the forest to pray. He began to pray as he was sweating, sweats were like Brad. Those it, uh, Peter, James, and John, they are the people who saw it. It is not for everyone to see the sweat that look like blood that has to be seen by everyone. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, <laughs> run it to choose the people that can see your sweats. It is not for everyone to see your sweats. So now you have understood that there is a valley. Now run how to choose those who can accompany you in the valley. Imagine if you could have been accompanied by Judas in the valley. My goodness, my goodness. Imagine Judas was not with them, but he knew the bush, the forest where Jesus was praying, so that he read those who came to attack Jesus. And write this word. So choosing rightly, it gives you a better life. So when you don't know how to select friends, you live a life that is of misery. So one of the things that helped Jesus to fulfill his mission, he knew how, how, who to select, who to choose to help him to fulfill his mission. So among the team that go with you, there are people who are looking after what you have, but they are not after for you. There are those who come to in your house, not because they love you, but they are looking for information. But there is someone who visits you. There is someone who lives with you. And you say that I have only 8 million. And then he tells you, bring that business plan. Bring a pen and a paper, and then I draft a business plan for you. And I show you how you can become a rich person through the use of the little you There is someone who can tell you that, let me just top up for you so that you can enlarge. Because I have been there, I know. I know I had a lot of pains more than you have myself. So let me use my acquired knowledge, my experience of pain, so that I help you to go out of it. We are at the point where we say that our solos are very useful. Many of your solos, your pain, have something that I can solve. Women, young girls that are present here, the pains that you go through, they are useful to other people. Numbers 18. Numbers 18. And we see the solos. And we see how it helped Moses to learn. There was a man called Jethro. He was a man called Jethro. And he met another man who was in the solo, but they didn't know how to go about it. So now time came, he understood how he should handle himself in that situation. That is Exodus 18. Uh, from verses 1. When Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law heard of all that God had done for Moses and for all Israel, his people, and the people had brought Israel out of Egypt. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back, and her two sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom, for he had said, I have been a liar in a strange land. And the name of the other was Eliezer, for God of my father said, was mine help. And delivered me from this word, O fellow. Then Jethro, mother's father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife unto Moses into the wilderness, where he camped at the mountain of God. And he said unto Moses, Thy father-in-law, Moses, am come unto thee, and thy wife, and her, and her two sons with her. And Moses went out to meet father-in-law, and 
did obeisance and kissed him, and they asked each other of their welfare, and they came into the tent. Verses 9, 8, and Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done unto Pharaoh and the people of Israel's sake, and they traveled and had come upon thy way, and how God delivered them. Verses 9, and Jethro rejoiced for the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel, whom he delivered out of the hand of Egyptian. Verses 10, and Jethro said, Blessed be the God who has delivered you out of the hand of Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who has delivered the people from under the hand of Egyptian. 11. Now I know the Lord is greater than all gods, for in whom we have the dealt proudly. Verse 13. And he came to pass tomorrow, the Moses sat the judge, the people, and the people stood by Moses from morning until evening. And when Moses' father in law saw all that he did to the people, he said, what is this thing thou hast done to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone and all the people standing by thee from morning unto evening? 15, Moses said unto the father-in-law, because the people come unto me to inquire of the Lord. And when they, father, when they have a matter, they come unto me and I judge between one another and I do make them know the status of God. And the father-in-law said to Moses, the thing that does it is not good. Hey, though it's sure we are away, but though the his people that is with thee, for the thing too is heavy for thee, thou art not able to perform in this. Verse 19, he can now unto my voice. I give thee counsel. God shall be with thee and be of the people unto God, Lord, that must bring the cause unto God. Read verses 17 to 18. Uh, mm. Are you aware? Mm. Kuko vinaniranye biruta ibyo wakwishobora gukora wenyine mm. none umvira ibyo nkubwira uh -huh. ndakugira inama imana igufashemo oh. abari wowe mushyikirwa w'amagambo w'amagambo w'abantu ni imana mm. uje ushira imana imanza zabo kandi uje ubigisha amategeko yayo nibyo yategetse uje ubereke inzira bakwiriye gucamo n'imirimo bakwiriye gukora eh. kandi utoranye mu bantu bose bashoboye Uchamans, Kuba Himan, Ninyanga Mogayo, Banki Mogan, Wahubut Quarry, Bangeva Quarry Jihumbi, Ijihumbi, Avandi Janijana, Avandi Mirongitanitano, Avandi Chumichum, Bajeva Chira Avanimanza, if he have Kandu Rubanza Rukomer Gose, Bajeva Rukuzanira, Arikuruanza Goroheje, Avariba Barucha. Niho uzi yoro hereza umuruho. Navo waza java fatanya nawe. No jirucho imana iza gutejeka uzavi shora. Kandu vugo kogo se wuzaja ahabgo bufite amahoro. Niho uzi yoro hereza umuruho. And that is where you have just lived yourself from there. Sebuwa mose abana mose bja kora sangharimu umuruho. So the father in law for Moses saw what Moses was doing and then he found there is something that is not right that is making Bavandim Moses to have pain. Chamo, My dear friends, what you go through is not yao, of wastage. Your solos is of value. I'm not praying so that you stay in the solo, but I'm praying that you get out of the solos, but the experience you get there. Because if you don't get a lesson from such a solos, even it no way, tomorrow you'll come back in the sorrows. So now the father in law for Moses looked the way Moses lets with his God. And he said, Now, Moses, what I see, you are going to die prematurely. Get 10 people, give them a leader. Five a leader. A hundred a leader. A thousand a leader. So, what I can do, let them do it so that you have time. Moses could walk with God. So during that time, it was showing himself just in the form of a pillar of a cloud upon them. So at night, he could turn himself into the cloud, a pillar of fire. So God with, with Moses all day and the night. 
But in the responsibilities of Moses, there is what was causing him troubles and God was with him. Then now I saw, show you the word. So what you went through is a package that you can use to help those who have not yet started in a journey. Maybe you might be here, you are divorced, you are you separated. So you can get that experience that you went through so that you share it with yes. someone who is struggling with yes. marriage. What you are going through, there are those who have not yet went through such a situation. Say so that Lord Jesus, give me the strength and the wisdom to cancel those that are still behind me, to cancel those that are young than me. Use me to become a counselor to many that those who don't know you may come to know. In the name of Jesus, clap to the Lord and His presence. Jethro spoke to Moses. Nothing will hinder you from being weakened. In other words, you will die prematurely. If you keep doing this way that you are doing things, you will die prematurely. Now imagine Jethro is speaking to Moses such words and yet it is he's bringing the wife and the sons to where Moses is because Moses has abandoned the family responsibilities because of the ministry. Uh, ask your neighbor, do you have people who come and give you advice and counsels when they visit you? Uh, when a person visits you in your home and then he finds that is a good decoration that you have to press it in the right position. Uh, a person visits you and then he looks at your curtains and he said, if you can change these curtains, then he said, press them well. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe some are getting up and they are catching hey, up hey. when you look at the program of saving 20%. Uh, so the sorrow that you went through, don't curse them. Don't be like Job. Job said, curse be the day when my mom conceived me. Because he didn't know that the solo that is going through is useful to other people. Luke chapter 1 verses 1 then when Mary conceived uh, the angel of the Lord told him her that your cousin Elizabeth now she has Gender a pregnancy of her, her old age go and visit her so now the front day Mary took a, a journey she went to see just Elizabeth where she was and then she was having a pregnancy of five months at her old age but Mary went to visit her when they hugged each other their wombs began to function or to jump right in this word you need to visit people who can give life, who can resurrect that very thing that has died inside you. There are people you find that their dreams are dead. Getting married, that is big cast that day. I have never. Business in I can't do business. I'm fed up with business. Me, come bring back together with that husband. Going back to school, I have stopped that. You need Mary to visit you. That the anointing that she carries may give life to what the enemy has killed inside you. Raise your hand and I pray for you. Say that Lord Jesus, 
Connect me with Marys. Connect me with your people. Who can give life, who can bring back to life what has not been made. Who can increase my hope that I may come back into my promises. What you have spoken of me may be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Love to the Lord and his presence. Write this word. Anger stops what God has spoken over your life not to be fulfilled. Uh, hear that thing and take some research about it. Everyone who prays and is not answered, <laughs> just search and see if that person doesn't have an anger. <laughs> A person who is short-tempered. A person who is easily angered or tempted. Uh, search and see. The answers or the fulfillment of the promises comes from Father. Know the people that you are. You know each other. And see someone who is short-tempered. So the blessing of God cannot connect to the anger so that it goes together. That is why the Bible says when a person let not the sun set. Let not the sun set. There are people who keep the anger so the sorrows, the pain is just to remove the anger in you. There are people who become angry so they become angry for each and everything to the extent that just they they reach a level where they throw what even what they have. Ask your neighbor, are you among those people who are short-tempered? There are people who become angry and they keep quiet. There are those who become angry they don't talk. Because they are born again, they keep quiet. There are those who become angry they go and they don't come back. Even there are those who go they come back but they come when they are angry. There are those who become angry they laugh when they are angry. Even if you want, post that word on your status or wherever you want, but anger takes you or separates you from God. Who now is repenting the sin of anger? Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my anger that it may not hinder me to reach into the promised land like Moses. Forgive me, Lord. Where I was bound by anger, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing this word? I repeat this word for you. Uh, this word is for someone that is here and you are bound. Anger hinders you from reaching into your Canaan. Most of the time, what God has done for you is not going to be able to do it. Moses has performed a lot of miracles, but his anger reached him a level where he said, look at the promised land, but you shall never enter into the land. There is a time when the devil says that you shall never be tempted by a sin of drunkardness. Even the devil says that even you, can, you cannot fornicate. You cannot steal like others. But he ties you on smaller thing of anger on you. Anger. Anger. We hear this word now. This is how the Lord is speaking to you. Abandon, leave your anger so that you may receive your answers. Anger. You shall never miss to encounter things that will make you have pain. Among the singers, the protocol that will do the same. Your fiancé will harm you. The tenants will harm you. Even there are some SMSs that are not for you, but they will come to you. Reach a level 
mujinya utagifita gaciro ku buzima bwa anga that will never have value on your life that is how the spirit of God is speaking to someone that is here who is, if you feel this word it was for you where are you anger Moses had lost her, his sister Miriam when Miriam had died when he was, she was about to mourn for her for 30 days Ah. So the crowd of Israel came to where he was and said, Moses, don't tell us that you are mourning for your sister. See, we are dying in the wilderness. We don't have water to drink. Our cattle are dying. We need water now. Live alone in the mourning of your sister. So Moses was full of solemn. Others, they give value to the 30 days to mourn for their people. But you can't even consider the death of my sister Miriam who had protected me when I was just in the swamp. Miriam, the one who spoke on my behalf to the daughter of Pharaoh mm. to bring my mom to come and raise me in the Paris. Miriam, Miriam, the one I beseech for God to heal her of the leprosy. She has died and now you are denying me the rights of mourning for her. He went to ask God. God, these people they don't have water to drink. Then God told Moses that go and speak to the rock to give you water. Go and speak to the rock. Moses said yes. He went and found the rock. Because of the pain that came from the crowd that was leading, instead of speaking to the rock, he struck the rock. He struck the rock twice. <laughs> For the first time, he struck, he struck the second time. But still water came and did I got water. And God spoke to Moses. He said, Canaan is there. Look at Canaan with your eyes. But you shall never reach there. Why? Anger. Caused by people. Clap to the Lord and his presence. Anger. 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 And yet where Moses comes from in the family of Levi they had that angriness. Uh, the, the sister of Lev called it Dina. She was left. So the brothers of Dina, when they heard about it, they went to the family that has raped Dina and they cut the legs of their cows. There is a time where you find that your anger, it is coming from behind. It is an inherited anger. You find that someone, when you are angry, even you, you bring brother from those. You find their bed it becomes to come high. They have headache. Now the heart pumps. They sweat because of anger. So we thank God for our government. Even if someone agitates you and you try to revenge, you go straight to the prison. Uh, if someone agitates you and you beat that person, that is a crime of beating and wounding. Tell your neighbor, revenging is not of it is God who revenges for life. Who wants God to defend him or her. May God give you the strength to forgive. Say the Lord Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me. Where I was angry, forgive me. Short-tempered, 
Forgive me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. I want to pray for someone that is here. Today you want to come back to Jesus. You want to repent. You live in other ways. You abandon sins. On your own, you see your own strength. You can't do anything to yourself. But it's Jesus who can do good to you. Repent your sins. And Jesus does good to you. If you are here and you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to reconcile yourself to Jesus. Raise your hand and we pray for you. If you want to give your life to Jesus, raise your hand. Yes, may God bless you. If you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus, uh, raise your hand and we pray for yes. you. It is not of shame. Just to reconcile with Jesus. Raise your hand if you want to give your life to Jesus. Raise straight and may God bless you. If you want to give your life to Jesus, take a step and we pray for you. Let us join our hands yes. and we crop we pray for them. Let us clap Let for them as they take steps of faith. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Where are you? We want to give your love to Jesus. Uh, in the first service, to God, those who, who give their love to Jesus. Take a step. It is not a shame. Yes. May God bless you so much. Thank you. I can't hear you clapping. They are coming. They are coming. May God bless you so much. May God bless you. You want to give your life to Jesus. Luke 15 said, when one on one gives his life to Jesus, there is celebration in heaven. There is celebration in heaven. Now we have more than one. They are still coming. What are you saying? They are coming. May God bless yes. you so much. You want to give your life to Jesus. Run away from Satan. Leave Jesus. Satan and come to Jesus. We know Kurias. Come to Jesus. Leave Satan and come to Jesus. Yes, to Yagu Sengara Banga. We are going to pray for this one. Are nobody online? There are those that are following us online. Now chene kwa chira yes. You want to receive Jesus. I am a hero ganaya. This is your chance. Yes, we have hand to sing. Ah, turn and we pray for you. Yes, nobody online. Now I am a hero ganaya. Ah, those that are following us online, this is your chance to. So giving light to Jesus is of value. Yes, we just want to. You, you believe within, within your heart. You confess it with your mouth so that you are counted righteous. So you are going to repeat the words that I say as you receive Jesus in your heart so that you revive your relationship with Jesus. Those that are online, go with us by saying this, repeating these words. Say that, Lord Jesus, I have come before you forgive me of all my sins those that I remember the ones I have forgotten my names be removed from the publishing book be written in the book of life I'm born again Lord Jesus fill me with your power Holy Spirit come and guide me I will serve you all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us stretch our hands and we pray for them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your children. They have received salvation. We bless them, John. We bless them with peace. We ask your blessing. Let your goodness be upon them. Let their blessings be upon them. Let them be called blessed. What was fighting them, let it not come to them. What them. was overcoming them, let it not come to them. How peace in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in all your ways. From today, let life become easy for you. Let life become good for you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask for strength. Let your spirit be upon them. Defend them and do good to them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May God bless you.
you. We are glad to see you. If you are here and you feel you are sick. You feel you are not feeling okay. We are going to pray that may God heal you. Any sickness, nothing is hard for God. In the name of Jesus, let me request you to raise up on your feet. Let me request you to raise up on your feet. We are going to pray for the sick. Uh, if you are jobless, blessed, is the moment to ask for God for a better job. If there is what fights you in the dream, it is a moment to get healed and delivered. So first, lay your hand on your head. We are going to pray for your life. In the name of Jesus. 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 We repeat in the name of Jesus. I separate myself. 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 I separate you inherited Catch fire as you live. Live my life. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness let it live. Let poverty live. Let the attacks of the enemy live. In the name of Jesus. Pray for your life. Pray for your head. Pray that may God deliver you. May God heal your head. May God heal your head. May God deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was fighting you, let it be overcome, let it be moved. In the name of Jesus, we call on the fire of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, oh, the sender of the Spirit of God, 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 oh, the sender of the in the name of Jesus, your power of darkness, live my family, live my life, live my treasures, in the name of Jesus, you evil spirit of joblessness, live the life of children of God, let them live the power of Satan, the spirit of Satan, I can't hear you clapping, let whatever fights you go, let your hands be the river, let your hands be the river, let your family, let it live. Let it live. Let it live. Let it live. Let it Let it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Touch where you have pain. If you have a pain, give your hand in there. If you have a back pain, give your hand in there. If you have a pain, give your hand in there. If you have a back pain, give your hand in there. If you have a back pain, give your hand in there. If you have a pain in your chest, touch your chest. If you have a pain in your chest, touch your chest. If you have a pain in your chest, touch your chest. If you have a pain in your chest, touch your chest. In the name of Jesus, we are commanding every sickness to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every disease to live your life. We are commanding every pain to God. Every demonic pain to God. Every demonic pain to God. Every pain to God. Every pain to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every sickness let it live your life. Every sickness let it live your life. Every pain that was in your body let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, whether it is on your head, let it live. Whether it is in the belly, let it go. Let that over the back and go. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who have pain at their legs, those who have pain at their legs, those who have pain in their knees, let it the pain go. In the name of Jesus, I command the laws of Satan to live to go back. Clap to the Lord and His presence. Let us clap, Lord and God. Yes, yes.
Yes. Somebody begins to be Raise your hands before God now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I give me the authority. I am standing in the authority that you give me. I command every sickness. Let it go back to heaven in the name of Jesus. Let the diabetes go back. Let the back sickness go back. Let the power that takes place go Let barrenness go back. Let poverty go back. Let dying prematurely go back. Let marriage let it go. Yes. Yes. Let it go back. Receive your deliverance now. Yes. Yes. Receive your healing power. Yes, glory to your holy name. Receive your healing power. Receive the life of Jesus in you. Receive a normal life and a better one. Receive to be normal. Whatever God has covered in you let it go back. Yes. 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 Receive your healing now. Let that those pains leave your body. Yes. 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 Come on. yes. I declare healing upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Let every demon leave. Let it live your life. In the name of Jesus. Come to the Lord and His presence. So now check yourself. If you had a back pain, then check yourself. Yes. Try to bend it to shake. To do what you couldn't do before. If there is change, there is change. If you feel now you are healed, I want to declare one word that let it not come back anymore. Yes. Check yourself. Check your head. If you feel you are healed, take a step here. If you feel everything's gone, take a step and come here. Jesus healed just the reaper and the sunset from today. Let it not come back. If you feel there's something that has left your life, take a step and come. Glory to Jesus. Yes. Uh-huh. So she was not seeing clearly. But now you can see. Let it be known to you today. From today, let the spirit of blindness never attack you anymore. Receive the protection of the Lord all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Love to the Lord. Her legs were paining her. So, do you have any problem now? Are you okay now? Clap to the Lord in His presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit that attacks your legs will never attack you anymore. Take better steps on the days of your life. You shall never become how the enemy wants you to be in the name of Jesus. Clap to the Lord in His presence. Amen. She, her, her eyes were paining her. Are you seeing now? Okay. You may be, you don't know that is why you are not clapping to the Lord. There are people who don't know that you can sleep while you sing, but the other from night day you find you can't sing. All the days of your life you shall keep seeing only good things. Blindness will never attack you. Whether it is broad self or it is unheralded it will never attack your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap to the Lord at his presence. Now when you are Diamond, you are my servant. 
So here that is what we are Wow, on your man, I'm a shimish. In the name of Jesus, what is after your life will never find you. No spirit of blindness will attack you. Whatever that they hindered you to see, go and see it. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Love to the Lord and His presence. So one young man went to sleep when she was a, he was very okay. So in the dreams he saw uh, an old lady that was binding a god. So now the old woman, woman was tying a god on the tree. So he was out of the dream. So the following morning when he tried to wake up things failed. Let me ask you what happened? What happened to the young man? They had tied him. The old man, woman tied the goat or he tied the young man? There are people who don't understand the spiritual affair. Maybe you dream when you had gone back to the village where you came from. Uh, maybe so that I you that God said that in the name of Jesus from today no one will tie me and manage me nothing will bind me and manage me by the blood of Jesus I receive immunity from the Lord and the source yes. of joy in his presence uh, let us do better and you clap to the presence of God and the healing power Somebody in the house Raise your hands before God. May God please you. May God defend you. Go and see the good things you have never Go seen. Go and increase and expand. Jobless people go and receive better jobs. Those who missed chances go and receive chances. Whatever was hindering you from a blessing that it not see anymore. Let the greatness that was not shown up in your family let it be revealed upon you. Go and have doors of blessings open before you. Go and be accepted with those who couldn't accept you before. Go and receive a blessing where you missed. All the days of your life, let it become good. In 